Welcome back. Uh, continuing from my last video, uh, we are going to do one example of again graphing an ellipse equation. So let me use this color. So what is the equation of what is the equation that is given? We got 25x squared. Sorry, it's 4x squared plus 25y squared plus 8x minus 150y plus 129 is equal to zero. So whenever I see equations of conic sections, if the coefficient of x squared and y squared are different, it is not the equation of a circle. So that's how, in one way, you can find whether it's an equation of a circle or ellipse or hyperbola. Will not. We'll go to hyperbola later. So yeah. The, this is the coefficient 4 and here's the coefficient 25. So this is not the equation of a circle. That's what I can say. So I'm going to do, as we saw in the last many videos, completing square, the method of completing the squares. Okay, so next step, I want you to pause in between and do each step. Okay, you can always pause and do and then see whether your step is right or wrong. That's a good way of learning. That's why I've written all the steps. So yeah, what I have done is I have grouped 4x squared and 8x together. And so I have isolated the x's together. And then you have got this 25y squared and minus 150y together. And I have moved this to all I have moved this to the other side, okay? Or in a different way, you have taken away 129 from this side. So you have to take away 129 from this side. So that's the same thing. So this and this gets cancelled. So this and this, this step and this step are the same. Nothing done, but only grouping. This step you can describe as grouping. Okay, in the next step, let me scroll down. Okay, so in the next step, what I have done, I have factored out a 4 from this, factored out a 4, because I don't like uh, if a coefficient sitting with x squared or y squared. So if you factor out a 4 here, this is x squared plus 2x. Now I have to make this a perfect square. Now I think by now you should know that this should be 1. Okay. Now, if this is 1, what should be, what should come here? So, let me go back. So, 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times 2x is 8x. So, 4 times 1 should be 4. So, basically what I have done, I have added 4 to this side. So, what should you do to the other side? If you are right, if you are thinking, you have to add 4 to this side. So, let me use a different color. Okay, let me use blue. Okay. So same way, if you make want to make this a perfect square, you got y squared minus six y. What should come here? Yes, it is nine because half of negative six is negative three and square of negative three is nine. So if you not add nine here, what have you added? You have added twenty-five times nine. You can check on a calculator. That is two twenty-five. So if you write 225 on this side, you have to write 225 on this side. 225. Okay, so let me bring back my brown color. So this was the color probably. So yeah, if you add, this is, you have added how much? So let me write that. This is, you're adding 225 plus. 4 is same as adding 229. Okay? So this is 229, so I've added 229 here. So you can pause and do the next step. Okay, so the next step would look like this. So what has happened? So this has become a perfect square of 4 times x plus 1 squared plus 25 times y minus 3 the whole squared, and this is 100. Okay, now what should I do? I want to get in this form, the general form of a uh, ellipse is x minus h, just I will show on a graphic calculator. 
over a squared you can write this is what as what you can see on a graphic calculator plus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1 that's the general form so let me write small a there because later on I'm going to use small a so but this is small a squared doesn't matter small a or capital A okay now I want a one year so what should I do in the next step yes you have to divide all by so I'm going to have divided I divide this by 100 this by 100 this by 100 the reason is I want to get a one year so what will happen 4 goes in 25 sorry 4 goes in 100 25 times okay and 25 goes in 100 four times okay and 100 goes in 100 one so this is one so this has become this equation so let us compare with this form okay so compare this and this okay so here if this is the form the center is in this case the center is h comma k and r is the major radius sorry a is the major radius and b is the minor radius okay so we are going doing the comparison so when you compare what will happen you can get you, if you compare this with this so if you want to write one more step this is same as x minus take away 1 squared over 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared over 2 squared is equal to 1. So you can do the matching now between this and this or this and this. So you can understand the center is 1, h is 1 and k is 3. So center is 1 comma 3. Okay. You can look in your formula sheet. The next important point is the focus of course here this is the major radius and this is the minor radius so your major radius is phi because a squared is 25 okay and your minor radius is 2 because b squared is 4 I hope you can see the a squared is 25 your b squared is 4 so your major radius is 2 phi and your minor radius is 2 okay now we are almost there so now the focal length squared that is c squared focal length is c so this is the formula c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared okay so a we are considering a to be the major radius in this case and it is because the major radius is phi and the minor radius is 2 okay so what will happen now so that is c squared is a squared we know is a squared is 25 compare a squared is 25 and b squared is 4 so what will happen that is 25 minus 4 is 21 so the next step is c is square root of 21 which is 4.6 in one decimal point okay so now the focal you've got two four sides okay one is to the one is to the right and one is to the left of the of the center so what's my center so let me write the center again so center is negative 1 comma 3 so you have to go 4.1 to the right and 4.1 to the left that means what is being added here because here the major axis the major axis is on the x-axis okay the major because the center is uh, your major radius uh, sorry I should not be writing this so the major axis is along the x-axis that is what I meant okay so yeah that's what I did what I've done your first one focus is minus 1 plus 4.6 and the other is so these are the 
point. So, now let us graph this. Okay. I have got uh, a grid. So, let us plot the points. So, let us use bright colors. So, what is the center? Always start from the center. The center is negative 1, negative 1, comma 3. So, this is your center. Okay, that is your center. And your major radius is 3. I will draw a radius of 3 from here. So, 1, 2, uh, I will not bother. So, I'll, let me use a different color. So, you have to go 1, 2, 3 to the, sorry, your major radius is far. So, you have to go far. 1, 2, 3, 4, far. It's always good to count so that you don't mess up. Then you go to 5 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so, let us write the coordinates. I will write the coordinates later. So, this is your major axis. This is along the x-axis. And your minor radius is 2. So, you have to go 2 up. So, you go 1, 2. So, this is a fat and a round ellipse. And you have to go 2 down. Okay. And then you have to draw the ellipse. So, let me use a green color. And let us so you have to join the points. Okay, this is not a perfect ellipse. I, I, I think you can understand. So, let us draw the two axes. This is called the major axis, and this is called the minor axis. Okay, mm, let me highlight it and slightly move it. I hope you can understand. Let me delete it and draw it again. Okay, I'll continue this in the next video. Thank you very much.